I mean, the, the, the storyline, hands down, was the funniest, the funniest hentai that I ever watched, but the hentai scenes were so, so disappointing. Um, every scene, the girl is like, like, moaning and orgasming, and, but you don't see any genitalia whatsoever, okay? Except, oh my god, this is like the hentai rager over here, except for one... One sex scene, and it happens to be a yaoi sex scene. Oh! I was like, why is it? Why is it in number one? You know, he 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 does an elf. Great sex scene. You don't see any genitalia. Just move it. I'm going. All right, that's pretty good. And then DVD number three. He does he he does his best friend on the roof. I'm like, yeah, awesome. No genitalia, but there's still movement. There's still, you know, she's still orgasms or whatever. And then this three, you know, he, he pops out of the prison and he sees his, his, his best friend getting f***ed by a guy. And you see everything. You see, you see penis penetrating his ass. And the guy's penis is flopping around. I'm like, why, Yuri? Why does Yaoi have to be uncensored and shown and genitalia and everything? But the Yuri, you know, the sex scene with her, with with the two neighbor girls and and him and and the girl who's getting tentacle raped by the giant monster that he's trying to save. Nothing, nothing, no genitalia, no nothing. But the Yaoi one, everything. The guy peeks in. He's like, he finds, he, he's trying to rescue his friend. He peeks in through the grate. He's like. Holy! <laughs> and then the guy's like, "What's up? <laughs> Are you here to join us?" <laughs> He's like, "I was gonna rescue you, but you're gonna stay in the." <laughs> goes back in the sewer. I'm like, "Holy crap!" The whole thing, you see nothing. You see no genitalia. Oh my god, romance is the romance is it? No wait. Uh, yeah, romance is in the something like romance of the sword or something like that. I forgot now. I'm like, here? <laughs> yeah, they have romance. Oh, romance is in the heart of the sword. Uh, okay. There you go. That was really good. So that's, that's not one to do it. Yeah, yeah, romance is in the heart of the guy's sword because that's the only. <laughs> you don't see romance in, in the other guy's sword. Oh my god, it was so bad. Romance in the heart of the sheep? No, no, nothing, nothing. No, it was we need so. Two swords. It was dual wielding. Oh my god, they were totally dual wielding and dual flopping and. And oh man, it was so so bad. Uh, that was that was a really bad. I mean, the the romance was good. The storyline was excellent. It's 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 a story of this just would be stupid idiot like working in a in a in a tavern, and he becomes the hero at the end. You know, he he's he's actually the destined hero of the land, and and he just all his sexual situations are the funniest things. But he just he just drops in those situations. He's just like. Walking out, and then he, and then, and his best friend's on the roof, and then she falls, and her face goes right on his head. And he's like, "All right," <laughs> and he's like, "Ah, oh, don't do that." And he's like, "I will do more than that." Ah. And, you know, situations like that, or or like a runaway cart from the Elven Princess. You know, it's runaway, and he and he's trying to mack on this on this girl, and he falls out a tree and lands right in her cart. He's like, what's going on here? And then, and because he saw this beautiful girl, he has a boner. She's like, oh my god, I've never seen a boner before. All right, <laughs> that's that's what we're gonna do with the boner, and you know, stuff like that. <laughs> but all those situations are like, he falls into those situations with those girls, except he totally peeked in that situation with the guys, and that was so so bad. I'm like, oh my god, at least edit that one. Holy, shit. but no, they didn't edit that one. They edit everything else. But yeah. it's, it's still a pretty good story. I, yeah, she's all here. Yeah! yeah. Yo, yo. He was a yummy friend to edit it. <laughs> You're like, thank God. I, you know what? You were probably the one that told him not to edit that. <laughs> oh! oh I knew it. I knew it. Here's our tell. <laughs> I knew it. You're, it's your fault. You can tell that I can talk myself into most things. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Talk yourself into most things? Into oh. Most things. Whoa. Oh. I thought I was getting racy here. <laughs> I think, uh, what's another one that's really...
that was really good, but kind of... No, it's it was really... No, it's actually... It was one of those things where where I had a boner and then I lost it really fast. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm done. <laughs> it was the hentai called A Time to Screw. Oh. I think I see. You know this I think, I, I think so. Do you know which scene I am talking about? <laughs> it is, okay. The storyline is this guy, um, for some strange reason, it has to do with like, that's I guess why they call it Time to Screw. It's this clock that apparently like either freezes times or when a certain when a certain time comes out, all the girls all the girls like just get super horny. But there's this there's apparently his brother, his twin brother, has like an injury or something and and that's when he leaves and he takes over and he's in the mansion screwing all the girls and stuff like that. But there's this one scene where where it's the it's it's the injured brother, he's in the kitchen and all the girls are horny. Okay, and they're they're screwing the guy with food. Okay, they're they, they put they put like 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 ketchup and they're eating him and licking him and and screwing him, and then and then he's like f***ing one girl and I'm going, oh damn, holy crap! And he's like screwing the other girl, but then they screw him so much that they break his. Oh shit! Right? Now this, now this. Is where my heart on goes. I'm running away. <laughs> they strap a meat bone. They strap a meat bone to his. They tie a meat bone to his. So it's hard. And they screw the guy with the meat bone in and. And he's like, he can't. And he's he's blood. And I'm like, I'm done. Uh -uh. I'm done. Blood. And and food boning with food and, food and, and f meat and, and, meat and I'm like I'm done. And this guy, this poor guy, is getting tortured because they're screwing him and and there's nothing left in him but blood. And he's like, I can't take it anymore. He's like, this is your torture. And he's f***ing the girls and screwing them with a bone strapped to his. And it's, I'm like, all right, I'm done. Off. That was the one that I could not. Uh, I could not do it. That one, and of course, Anal Sanctuary was kind of bad. That's a bad one. That's a really bad one. It's just... It's, it's just... What it is, basically, at the beginning, is this guy that has a... Apparently a demon-possessed violin. And he plays it, and then these girls, like, get all horny, and these <laughs> tentacles screw the girls until they crap. And then these... Freaking tentacle raping things start eating the crap, and then just slurping the crap, and then he's f her and crap and tentacles and crap and f her and violin and that is just that was that's probably the weirdest one I've ever seen. I would sound weird. What's up? So what tentacles come out of us? No, the tentacles come out of this like dark portal that lift them up and then like pull their legs apart and then ram in her ass until she craps and then. Pulls out the craps and starts slurping the crap. Yeah, that was that was pretty bad. And and that one also happened in Ride the Valkyrie, Ride of the Valkyrie. Did you see that one? You you saw that one, right? Remember where, where the yeah. friend like is on the tree, where she's on yes. the tree and then she's like, oh no, don't do that. And then the demon starts her and then sucking all her crap out of her ass. I'm like, holy crap! And it goes inside her ass at the end. Oh. And then she's like all horny and then she takes a crap and all. The, I'm like, holy crap! That's really crap. <laughs> Holy crap. That one was that one was pretty I mean but the first scene with the with the demons, <laughs> with, with the orcs and stuff like that. Those were cool. And then and then there's this and then people are walking in, what are you talking about crap for? <laughs> I think the premiere line should start being eighteen plus. Exactly, right? <laughs> Are is they're all 18 plus actually? Yeah. I think I, I think I, I, I can see the single child. I can yeah I know exactly. You know what? Me too. I think everyone who is a premiere badge usually is an adult because they know and they do enjoy you know not reading long ass lines and shit like that. Yeah yeah exactly exactly. They're 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 all adults here who appreciate a little a little naughty talking. You know oh the best. If you guys haven't been a lounge 21 yet, has everyone been yet? No. 
You, you need you need to go to Lounge 21 because it's freaking awesome. There's drinking and music playing and there's porn on the tables. And you can read porn and no one's going to even look at you because there's porn right in front of them too. It's awesome. Um, oh, there's porn right there. Never mind. Um, that was really cool. But um, I think the funniest of all the hentai that I ever watched was Hooligan. Has anyone watched Hooligan? That thing is the funniest, <laughs> funniest thing ever. It's he has to he has to rescue seven dildos. Okay, okay? he needs to he needs to possess seven dildos. What happens is some these seven dildos mess up the reality of his world. He has to possess the seven dildos in order for, for reality to go back to normal. <laughs> they don't grant him wishes, but what they do is they grant him sexual power. <laughs> so... <laughs> no, as long as he collects them... Well, what he, what he has to do is he has to... He has to get the dildos and he has to <laughs> the girls that possess the dildos with it. <laughs> And, yeah, that was those. Those are really those. That one's really great. Like so, so he has one. He has one of the self. They call him one of the seven holy dildos. That's what they're called. The seven holy dildos. He finds three of them with his 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 best friends, his best girlfriends. Like like he's friends with a whole bunch of girls, and they're and of course he's enemies with a whole bunch of girls as well. So he finds these three girls, and they're all masturbating to these magical dildos. And he has to fight them, he has to fight them, he has to win, and then he has to f*** them. That is the best three combinations. Fight, f*** and win. Yes. So, so he finally, he, he, he gets to have a three-way, a four-way actually now, four-way with these, with these three girls that he's known since high school that wouldn't even look at him in an eye in, in the real life. Because he has to f*** them and then dildo them and win. So he 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 does all three girls and he's like yes and he but he doesn't know that he actually possesses a really cool power with the first dildo that he has, which is to multiply. And you find that out when he when he when he finally gets the last girl. The last girl is actually a lesbian, so she doesn't get horny or anything except when he uses his power and he multiplies seven times because he has now you know he has six of the seven dildos, and so he multiplies into six guys, including him, so it's seven, total seven. And he f the crap out of her, and she's like, oh my god, you're a guy, and I'm actually f from you, that's great! <laughs> and so he, he f her and just covers him in with f and there's like seven penises with f all over, and she's like bathed in it, and I'm like, oh. and I win! And guess what? <laughs> Unfortunately, the seven dildos don't do anything but f him in the ass at the end, I'm like, <laughs> The dildos! <laughs> I'm like, holy crap, he's like, he, this is the best part because he knows that apparently he, he, apparently at the end he knows that he's an anime character, but because he's getting f***ed by these dildos, he's like, why did the hero get f***ed in the end? I'm like, I feel so bad for you, but at least you got the f seven girls. That was so great. No, no, six girls, you know? And one of them was a lolly, which was f fantastic. That was, that was great.